And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Genesis 3 verse 6, the forbidden fruit is illustrative of temptation and sin in general. Eve took and ate what God had commanded her not to eat due to three factors, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the prideful desire to acquire wisdom apart from God. We too struggle in today in all three areas in striving to resist sin. Psalms 37 verse 28 says, For the Lord loveth judgment and forsake not his saints, they are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Every gardener knows that one of the secrets to healthy plants comes from cutting away the dead parts. When the leaves begin to wither and turn brown, that part of the plant has died and needs to be pruned. The dead parts can contaminate the healthy plant and if the gardener refuses to prune, the entire plant could die. In this passage, God is the gardener who must cut off the descendants of the wicked. He does this to protect the godly ones, the healthy part of the plant. He does this because he is a just God and wishes to preserve us forever. Devotion topic is, we all need healing. Jesus wants to heal us. What kind of healing do you need? There are days when I wake up with a terrible sinus headache. There are times when I grieve for and with others. There are times when I wonder if I have been a good parent, a good daughter, a good friend. There are also times when I'm not sure that I have been the person God has called me to be. In all of these times, I turn to prayer. And in the case of the headache medicine, I do believe that my prayers will be answered even if I don't always recognize the answer, just as those who came to Jesus for healing in the Gospels, we come to Jesus looking for physical, spiritual, emotional, and psychological healing. When my parents were very ill, I didn't really know what to pray for. I left it in God's hands, and the healing for them came in their being welcomed into eternal life. For me, it came in the peace of knowing that they had lived their lives believing in God's love for them. When dealing with physical suffering, the healing might come in giving us the courage to deal with the pain. Whatever our need may be, Jesus is by our side, walking with us, because he knows our pain, our doubts, our fears, our insecurities. Just as he looked to his Father for answers, he invites us to do likewise. And just as Jesus' requests on behalf of all those who came to him in today's gospel were granted, so will his requests on our behalf be granted as well. If you enjoy this video please like and comment telling us that you enjoy it. And remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell that way you will not miss any of our videos.